Hey there, beautiful people. So uh, I wanted to show you my hand sanitizing station. It's completely hand uh, touch free. You don't have to touch it. So uh, this little bar moves up and down and it works completely by using your foot on this. So you'd, all you have to do is push down on this part with your foot and boom, it'll dispense hand sanitizer. So let me show you a couple of things and I'm gonna run through how I, how I made all this. So um, two things you need to know. Number one is you have two different sizes of pipe. The major outside pieces are all one inch pipes, and then these pieces here are all half inch pipes. A lot of the plans on the internet that you'll find will tell you to use three quarter, uh, one inch and three quarter inch. Those don't work. The three quarter inch pipe, the, this pipe here needs to slide through the, the other pipes, and the one inch pipe and the three inch pipe do not slide through each other. So you've gotta go with one inch and half inch when you do this. These pieces down here, to show you, you have a number of T-joints that are gonna be around. So these one inch pipes uh, are gonna be connected. This is a two inch pipe in between, a two inch piece of one inch pipe, and then there's a T-joint. Elbow, four inch pipe, T-joint, four inch pipe, elbow, two, two inch pipe, T-joint, etc. So it goes around like that. Okay, so obviously these are here just for stability purposes. Uh, the gap in the middle allows for the person's heel to sit there nice and evenly while they push on this. If you don't wanna use T-joints and you wanna just run it another pipe straight across, that will absolutely work for you and will save you a little bit of cost of not having to add these T-joints in when you do this. As you can see on the back side, it is one long pipe all the way through. So you can just set that up on the front if you wanted to do that as well. Wouldn't matter, you have to change things as you need them. I've made a lot of alterations to my design. Uh, so as you can see on this pipe, this is a 20 inch, 28 inch long piece of one inch pipe. These are 36 inch half inch pipes that are go up and down. So they slide all the way down. Uh, this is about 10 inches across, depending on how big your pipes are. So this is about nine and a half to 10 inches pipe. And then obviously you have elbows on the top and on the bottom, which allow everything to stay together. This is a four inch piece of PVC with a four inch cap on it. So the purpose of this is to allow for a fairly large container, or for, I'm sorry, a very average size container of hand sanitizer to be inserted into that. If you have in your classroom one of those giant ones, then you're gonna need to change this setup, okay? This was designed for this four inch pipe. Now, all the pieces on this all the way around are all PVC glued together. I found that if I didn't glue them together, enough pressing on this caused pieces to fall apart. So no matter what, this definitely has to be glued in, but I found even some of the other parts can, uh, need to be glued in as well uh, so that they don't fall apart. If you have a mallet and you wanna hammer everything together, that might work, but like I said, this piece definitely needs to be glued when you do this. Now, as for this pipe in the center, this pipe I did not glue into place because I found that if I did, I couldn't get my sanitizer in and out, so I left it unglued to these pieces of PVC on the sides. The, this is the hardest part of the entire build, and I don't want to take it out because I don't want to mess it up, but you have to drill a hole in the side to allow for the pipes to go in. Those, this four inch piece, piece, piece of pipe does not have holes in it, so you have to drill those holes in there. So make sure you have a drill bit that will drill through those properly and give you a nice neat hole. Then a little bit of sanding and then you just kind of wedge them in. I did it so to allow this to shift. It also allows me to take this off because I find that if you, let's see if I can demonstrate this properly. If you push down the first time, it gives a good squirt. This is soap, but it gives a good squirt all the way out. But the second one kind of dribbles. So I found that the bottom does get a little bit of hand sanitizer or soap in there, so it's a good opportunity for you to be able to take it off and then to clean it out whenever you need it. Or obviously, like I said, to tilt it, replace or refill the bottle, and then insert it back in here. You know, this is uh, not perfect. It is modified from a couple, a couple different designs on the internet. However, it's gonna work for a hands-free station in my classroom or in my makerspace when students come up and they can just step on it and the only person who has to touch it ever is me in order to replace the hand sanitizer. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in uh, down below. And as always, you know, give me the like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos about technology, chemistry, making, etc. on the channel. Thank you beautiful people.